accept the fact that we are divided. And this is the reality that we become and we must change it. Show, divide the state of America. It's good to see them all in one place at the same time, you know? Yeah, just to see them all together at once is definitely impactful. We opened this artwork and then we hung it. And then when you see it, it's an incredibly strong, powerful statement that this artist has created. And I've been watching people when they walk in. Uh, they walk in, it's like, whoa, look at this. This is amazing. The reason we should be supporting artistic expression is because through artistic expression, uh, it is a way we get to know ourselves. And I, I must say, this, uh, this display, this exhibit, these works uh, really uh, elicit deep thinking about who we are um, and uh, what we worship and uh, what we will fight for. Liberty were to come alive, how would she feel? Mm. Well, this is how she would feel. Torn apart, gagged, uh, both her heads down in frustration. We have money for war, and in the end, there is property on the other side. This is iconic. From the first time I saw it, you know, and it's just something you'll never forget. I mean, it's such a, an amazing kind of rethinking of liberty uh, and kind of the current state of it, you know. Um, so let's recognize it so we can move on. And um, my modern day version is Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the Lady Liberty, you know, piece is, is really, I think, kind of hit home with me. My parents are immigrants, and, you know, every immigrant who's ever come here flies into New York or Ellis Island, and that's the first image that you see, and it's become the iconic symbol of liberty in this country. And to have her depict it in this kind of very unique way, it, it, it's jarring, and it forces you to realize, like, wow, this is what we've done with our country. We, the country that started with such great promise, and as a, as a leader, and, and creating independence, and we, we've spawned revolutions all over the world, and today we're, we're looking in on ourselves, and we, we can't resolve these issues that are really, literally tearing us apart. I believe that that painting is very well done and I can identify to it personally because Lady Liberty is a symbol and for me it represents freedom and to see her display in this particular way it actually makes me think and makes me think a lot about the country where I come originally from and that is Cuba when we don't have an opportunity to be divided. Why? Because there is only one rule, the communist rule. As, as soon as I came in and I made eye contact with the art, I could relate to what I have seen and I could have relate, I could relate it also to what I have lived. What does it mean to be really in a place where you cannot express free, you, yourself freely, divided, fragmented, cut to pieces? Still, I believe that I live in the best and the greatest nation in the world. And I'm thankful every day for the blessing of being part of of this process that hopefully 
it will create that unity that we so desperately need to live to the, gen to the generations of the future. This is my favorite. I think that this particular piece is very reflective of um, my American experience. Coming, growing up in the South, growing up as a black woman on the Space Coast, there is a, a, a clear divide between the people and the government and, and often marginalized peoples like myself, African Americans, women. We see that divide as something so much greater than the rest of America sees it. Having the police officers in, in Ku Klux Klan gear with an American flag around their head is kind of how we've grown to see um, the police in the South and for even you know now being located in Los Angeles, you know, they're almost like a Gestapo to us. And so to see that people are able to notice our plight and to notice what it is that marginalizes us, it just spoke volumes to me and I, and I love that it's on such a huge platform. I was uh, very drawn to actually the religious one of Jesus. Um, I grew up in a very Christian home, um, very kind of, this is how you need to be sort of an environment, um, not with much of a choice. I guess, and I remember being young and feeling like the church was very money oriented and I just really was drawn to the image of the cross made out of the dollar bills. It was, I was like, whoa, that's <laughs> kind of real. <laughs> um, but I think that Lady Liberty is also very beautiful and there's some great images with her mouth covered by the freedom and um, those kinds of things really spoke to me I think the most. This is my favorite one because I mean all all the others are equally or are also very important, but the Lady Liberty is the most overarching theme. Um, I think because this country, we always like to, and both political parties do this all the time. We make these really broad statements um, that get everyone you know riled up, ready to go um, about you know what America stands for, what the American dream is, um, what it should be. Um, but the reality is that it is really bad out there for a lot of people. Um, and we're not living up to uh, what this country should be. Uh, we have like the largest disparity in wealth in this country ever. Um, and people that are doing incredibly well, uh, it's just been increasing and increasing and increasing. And those that have been in the bottom tiers, uh, it's been getting worse for them. And yet we still say, we the American dream, you can do anything in this country, um, but the reality is, is if we don't change course, something doesn't change, will that happen? Last time we had division like this, you know, a, a civil war happened, right? And, and I don't think we're at that point by any means, but you can definitely clearly see the blue-red divide even more prominently than in 2000, 2004, 2008, you know? And I'm really glad somebody has drawn attention to this and, and created a, a way to kind of create the conversation. This is like a catalyst for both sides of the aisle to look at ourselves and say, hey, you know what? If we don't figure out how to work together, then we are gonna have really serious issues. So that we can go back to what we think should be the reality and keep the American dream, which is basically anybody from any corner of the world can come here and make it. And the social economic system that we have developed, which allows us to do that, which is the foundation of the American dream, which provides the American dream. That is what we need to reestablish.